There's a class of accusations that are hard to defend oneself against no matter how good one's evidence is. You're too argumentative, for example. Doesn't really matter what you offer up in your defense there. One way or the other, you're going to be working against your overall point. Well, same kind of situation for atheism this week, as the conservative news sites all pounced on a new study that, according to their grossly misleading headlines, proved that atheists were more closed-minded than religious people. Now, that's almost definitionally untrue, so no doubt as soon as you saw that, or if you hadn't seen it, as soon as you heard me say it, your response was, oh, bullshit. But isn't that exactly what one of them closed-minded atheists would say upon finding new information. All right, so before we dive into the headline and the study that it's based on, I want to dig into the term closed-minded a little bit because even though it's exclusively used as a pejorative, there's nothing in the definition that demands that, right? Like making open-minded an aspiration is no more sensible than calling faith a virtue, but as a society, we consistently fail to recognize that. All right, so according to Merriam-Webster, closed-minded means not willing to consider different ideas or opinions. Now, at a glance, that does seem like something that should be avoided, right? But keep in mind that there's no stipulation in that definition about how much evidence or plausibility that different idea or opinion comes with. So, you know, I mean, rejecting your uncle's historical theory of white superiority without researching it first, that would be, by definition, a closed-minded act, right? I mean, refusing to listen to your cousin's latest defense of homeopathic psychotherapy would be closed-minded. Refusing to seriously entertain the historicity of the Book of Mormon is closed-minded. And yet, any person who aspires to rationality shouldn't hesitate to do any of those things. Now, th what's interesting here is that we didn't demonize closed-minded because we lacked a more specific term, right? I mean, if we wanted to separate out just the negative aspects of being closed-minded, we could talk about how dogmatic a person is. Now, Merriam-Webster defines that as characterized by or given to the expression of opinions very strongly or positively as if they were facts. That's where closed-minded turns into a detriment, right? When the source of the closure isn't based on a factual understanding. If you're closed-minded because you have enough knowledge to assign prior probability, you're just thinking correctly. If you're closed-minded because the Bible done told you otherwise, you're acting like a fucking idiot. So with that distinction in hand, let's turn to the actual study. Now, like virtually all reporting on scientific studies, the media did a terrible job on this one. I, you know, obviously the far right shit rags were going nuts with it. The, the Daily Caller says, study, colon, atheists are more closed minded than the religious. The headline from The Blaze promises, religious people are more tolerant, open minded than atheists, new study finds. But even more mainstream outlets like The Independent were getting it wrong with headlines like, atheists are less open minded than religious people, study claims. In fact, virtually nothing written about this study contradicts those kind of headlines unless you count the abstract, because that's not at all what this fucking study showed. In fact, what it actually showed was that religious people were more closed minded than atheists. But there's more wrong with the headlines than the mere fact that they're the exact opposite of the truth. The real takeaway from the data, which appears to have escaped even the researchers, is that atheists are better at determining when closed-minded is a detriment to rational thought. All right, so the study itself is an online questionnaire where all the best science happens that compared the answers from 788 respondents in France, Spain, and the UK. 445 of them were atheists, 255 were Christians, and then they rounded it up with a little... You know, a couple of Buddhists and Muslims and Jews to make those guys feel like they matter too. The researchers divided closed minded up into three sections. Now, from the abstract, quote, one, self reported dogmatism defined as unjustified certainty versus not standing for any beliefs. Two, intolerance of contradiction measured through low endorsement of contradictory statements. And three, low readiness to take a different from one's own perspective. Sick. End quote. Now, surprise, surprise, when it comes to that first one, religious people scored way higher when it comes to unjustified certainty. They tended to answer no when asked whether they would adjust their opinion if new evidence was presented to them. This is what we call the bad end of being closed-minded or dogmatic. And there is nothing in the study to suggest that atheists are worse than religious people in those terms. It's in these other two categories that atheists prove themselves to be more closed-minded than their religious counterparts. And when you look at what these sections studied, it portrays the entire study to be a farce from a Catholic university trying to make themselves seem less stupid. I mean, the second segment is literally testing for one's willingness to simultaneously agree with contradictory statements. Right, Like literal electric monk shit here. The fact that atheists are less likely to believe that A both equals and does not equal B is the first piece of evidence to support the atheists are more closed-minded conclusion. 
Why the fuck would that be in this study, right? Now, the third category is more meaningful and it's closer to something that actually belongs here. Uh, it, it seeks to measure confirmation bias by way of a common psychological test that assesses how many arguments you can come up with in favor and opposed to your opinion. Now, this is actually a, a meaningful test most of the time, right? The, the ability to articulate the arguments against your own opinion that's a pretty good indicator that a person is able to work through an argument with an open mind. If we were comparing how open-minded French and Italian people were or, or how open-minded men versus women were, this would be a good tool to have in our belt. The problem is that this study started off by dividing the groups based on whether or not they were correct on a particular question, right? I mean, you can't just treat the religious group and the non-religious group the same in terms of their ability to evaluate evidence because God doesn't fucking exist. Right? The experimental design required creating a confounding variable. The category of people more able to come up with arguments in favor of their position were also the group most likely to correctly assess data. So, yeah, I mean, it could be that they were more prone to confirmation bias, but it could also be because they were more likely to side with the position that had the better arguments. And since we drew the categories in such a way as to guarantee the latter, we can feel pretty confident dismissing the former. So bottom line, who's more closed minded, atheists or religious people? Well, it depends on what you mean when you ask. If you mean closed minded in a negative way. It's the religious. If you mean it in the sense of the ability to accept things as contradictory as this study's conclusions and the evidence it was based on, it's us. And that's a label I'll wear with pride.